The causes of conflict uh, in the Northeast, uh, more especially here in Borno State, uh, is as a result of uh, conflict of insurgency. Uh, it's a 12-year conflict which uh, literally means education is forbidden, saying that uh, children should not have access to schools, saying that uh, schools should not exist. A uh, lot of children have been killed during this conflict. But we know from the past situation, uh, from what has been happening, uh, education has always been under attack. Montida was then at Isa Dulide when they crowned with a Dulidera Terza. Monti was as a when they Isa Warza when they Malumada Yejenso. Dulideo Malum Malum's my chain in Gozia, no mum food to cry, Bashila. Taji Soron Kazamaya Kanzamar was an abeji. Soron come ally, Soron Zaro Sar Sukanama, Leza Gagana, I beji. Buladia or Gauro Kalaksanama Hinta. Auto attacking Sanaru, Usala, Usku, Larry, a cardigan. Dunga de Masuron, Gamaye, Solo de Lando attacking Nochada, Arasuka and De, Pende, Karane. Rusa Yaka in Adana, my dear, Kurade, Monte, my dear, Columci Gaoba and Akar, Ruma Mandila, Robaradana Serna, Kaisiwa, Isan Olo Roma. There is a tarim game about. There is a Montido Conoco Colla, Montido Warza, Bailado. Several children have been able to reactivate um, children's parliament in Borno State and through this platform, this has given children a, a, a great opportunity to express their concern, advocate for quality education, safe schools, and um, the Child Rights Act. Save the Children is implementing um, a safe school project in Borno State here particularly. Under this project, we've been able to establish a unique community structure which we refer to as um, the safe school team. And this safe school team, among its uh, many function, it is uh, saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that children are safe in school and are protected from other um, school-related hazards in and around schools. In the course of our work, children affected by conflict in, in Borno State, to be precise, now have um, improved learning materials, um, study within a safe learning space, have improved and um, wash facilities. Uh, we've seen that um, most children that were once enrolled actually dropped out because of the fear of using um, um, this is like the restroom, like toilets with other, with other male children. But so the children have been able to construct a um, co um, good number of um, gender segregated toilets. All of this have actually improved, improved learning outcome for, outcome for children and have actually secured the learning environment for children, which they feel safe and they are learning. My recommendation, more especially to the government of Nigeria, on preventing or responding to attacks on education is to ensure that the SSD guidelines are being implemented. All states in Nigeria should ensure that schools are protected. Recently there has been the, the passing of the, or the approval of the safe schools minimum standard. I would recommend that each governor of each state looks at this document and ensures that the minimum standard for your safe schools are applied 
so that children feel safe when they are in schools. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go